let's learn how you can interact with CSV files like reading and writing. First, let's write something to the CSV file. By default, you cannot just directly interact with CSV file. You need to import a module and that module name is CSV. So after importing, let's open the file. For opening the file, you need to use the open function and then the name of the file. In this case, example.csv. And then you have to provide in which mode you want to open it. So in this case, we are going to write something to the CSV file. So let's write W. W means writing. So now this will return a file handler. So let's store it in a variable. After you open the file and perform all the actions, you need to close the file. So let's close it. So file handler dot close. Now we can perform the actions in this case, writing to the CSV file. For writing to the CSV file, it's pretty easy. You can use CSV dot writer and then the file handler. In this case, the file handler is this. So let's copy that and paste it. Now this will return a CSV writer object so we can store it in a variable. Now let's write to the file. So we can use the CSV writer object and then use write row. And then we can provide a row using a list. So let's say I want ID, name, and age. So now it will write to this file. So let's save it and run it. And there you go, it's written. So if you go to the example.csv file, you can see it's ID, name, age. Now let's say you want to write multiple lines or multiple rows. So for that, you can use the write rows method. Again, you have a nested list in which each of the list will be each of the row. So you have ID, name, age. Now for each row, you need to add a list. So this is the first list for ID, name, and age. Let's create a second list for the second row. ID number one, name is Syed and age 16. Let's create another list. ID number two, name Basim and age is 17. Now we can, we have written multiple rows. So now let's save it and run it. You can see ID name age, one said 16, two Basim 17. So it's really handy. And this is how you write into CSV files. Now let's learn how you can read into csv files so for that let's get rid of this now instead of csv.writer you have csv.reader and it accepts the file handler but in this case we are not writing anything to the csv file we are reading it so we have to open it in read mode that is r let me rename this variable to csv reader now we can print csv reader let's run it you can see you get an object over here so you need to loop through it so instead of directly printing it let's say for row in csv reader and then you can print row you get each of the array like this and this is how you read and write into csv files